cursed as a cursed land. You'd have to be mad to settle here. Greetings, my fellow exiles. Welcome back to another Path of Exile video. Today, Grinding Gear Games announced a new patch coming out later this week. We are going to take a look uh, and read quickly what the patch note says, what they have in store for us for this coming update to see if they have any buffs or nerfs related to Settlers of Kalgar. Okay. 3.25.1 Patch Notes Preview Later this week, we are planning to deploy the 3.25.1 patch, which includes changes to Recombinators, Tavmatic Dust and Tier 17 Map Modifiers. Check out the preview of the patch note below. The following patch notes are still subject to change prior to the patch deployment. We'll deploy the 3.25.1 update on console as soon as possible after it release on PC. Settlers Improvements Rework how shipping Thagmatter Cheat Dusk affects shipping risk and rewards. Previously, it was multiplying the shipment value and having disproportionately high impact on risk compared to rewards. Now it simply adds to the shipment value and scales the amount of rewards based on other goods being shipped. This means the way the mothership dust affects shipping value risk now directly correlates with the amount of rewards you will receive. And in almost all cases, this is above from before. Very nice. When recombinating items, rarer modifiers now have a much higher chance to be selected for the resulting items than before. Nice buff. Players now spawn further away from the portal in the Admiral's Valerius boss area to help prevent leaving by accident. This is due to some people accidentally losing their crew, but I think they could have at least add maybe another or maybe two portals just in case a crash or anything bad happens so you don't miss your crew, but it is what it is. Added the Uber boss fragments missing fossils and the blighted scouting reports to the currency exchange. Players on Trade League are gonna be very happy. General improvement and changes. Adjusted the following Tier 17 map modifiers. Tier 17 soap blades mode slow down and there are only 3 soap blades from 6. The Mark for Dead debuff no longer prevents the recovery of life and energy shield. It now increased damage taken by 50% from 30. Players and their minion deal no damage for 3 out of 10 seconds, from 4 seconds every 10 seconds. Players have 3% in reduced attack speed. Players have 3% reduced action speed for each time they've used the skill recently, from 4%. Monsters have 100% increased area effect and fire 2 additional projectiles, from 4 additional projectiles. Masters take 35 to 45 reduced extra damage from critical strikes, from 100%, players have 25 to 30% less area of effect from 50%, players have 25 to 30% less damages from 50%, rare and unique monsters remove 5% of life, mana and energy shield from players or the minions on hit from 10%. The following mods no longer roll on tier 17 maps. 100% reduce effect of curses on masters. Players have minus 2 to maximum number of summon totems. Players in area take 20% increased damage per nearby ally. Players cannot gain endurance, frenzy or power charge. Players cannot recharge energy shield and players cannot recharge life, mana or energy shield. Players cannot block and players cannot suppress spell damage. Players have 90% reduced effect of non curse errors from skills. Players have 80% less recovery rate of life and energy shield. Monsters cannot be lynched from. Added a new tier 17 map modifier. Players have 50 to 60% reduced maximum total life, mana and energy shield recovery per second from leech. Very good changes for tier 17 maps. They don't break as much builds as they do as they used to do. So this is good for me since I haven't done any tier 17 map yet because my builds no way they can handle it yet. So this is an additional buff. Let's move on to the next paragraph. 
The divinations cut up of plenty now grants additional pack of magic monsters that have 800% increased chance to drop divination cards instead of modifying existing packs in the area. It now also has a limit of 5 from 1. The bestiary craft to 30% quality map now specifies it grants 30% base quality, replacing any alternate, alternate quality types from Maven Chisels. This fixes a bug where, you, where if you use this craft on a map with quality from a Maven Chisel, it wouldn't have added more of the alternate quality. Update the Vengeful Cry skill gem description to clarify that minions cannot gain rage. The singular Carap Carapaces Atlas passive has been renamed to Towering Carapaces. Updated remaining text referring reliquary scarabs to correctly say Titanic scarabs. Added a slot for Combs Command Unique Siege Helmet to the Unique Stash tab. Bug fixes. Fixes a bug where some players were unable to use Manage Town options from Johan. Fix the ransom option not stating how much gold is required. Fix a bug where quality of life, mana, and hybrid plus were, was incorrectly scaling duration. Fix a bug where map crafting options from Scarabs were not appearing if placed in the SOX 6th slot of the map device. Okay, finally. Fix a bug with Admiral's arrogance unique where the chance to gain maximum frenzy charges from hits Grand Rage was applying for all hits. Fix a bug with a taste of cake unique flask where its chill and freeze avoidance and physical as added cold damage effects were not applying. Fix a bug where the Avengers notable passive skill Grinding Rage when hit by enemies was incorrectly applying to all hits and not just hits by enemies. Fix a bug where the Savage in Test CD. Fix a bug where the Savage Intensity Notable Passive Skill was not reducing the Rage cost of skills. Fix a bug where the Sepulchre Map Boss Don't Read the Defiler, the Defiler will fail to drop guarantee rewards after being killed in her second form. Fix the Meteor on Flask use Tier 70 Map Modifier and Searing Exarch Alter Modifiers having no impact effect. Fix a bug where the Plummeting Kahoot Uroa unique finisher effect microtransaction could not be used along with a rare monster finisher effect. Overall, very good update for our adventures in Settlers of Kalkur. I would like to see a little bit more related to the town. I guess the update to the Thaumater Cheat Dust will affect runes probably and we will see a lot more of them. This is my prediction. So that's it for this video i uh, look forward to this patch because we'll get the ability to test some new strategies using thumb mother sheet dust to increase our shipment value and that will net us more runes probably and that will be awesome since a lot of crazy cra rune crafting techniques and strategies are behind power runes which are very hard to get and that may give the ability to more players to try crazy builds before this league ends. I'm also very happy that uh, GGG decided to keep updating this league and not go full silence, which blows my mind that they are able to push out a almost perfect league and keep a follow up to it. Uh, I would like to thank everyone for being here. Thank you for sticking to the end. I hope you enjoy your journeys through Ray Class and Settlers of Calgar. And as always, I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.